Alan Siwila. I'm 21 years old. I come from Kwazi Compound in Indola. My mother and father died when I was young. My mother died in 1997. I didn't think of becoming a nurse. It came to my mind the time I was growing up that maybe she died because there were no qualified people to look after her. So that's the reason why I decided to join the health group that's in nursing so that I can help a lot of people out there. Before I joined nursing program under e-learning, I was um, partly working at an orphanage school to raise money for my uh, academic. I was so much wanting to get into school under nursing, but I never had that opportunity. I tried several schools and I was not picked. Uh, but fortunate enough, I was picked under e-learning after I applied. That was in 2014. Uh, the training model is called e-learning, which is electronic learning. Uh, it's, it's a type of learning, it's more like distant learning, only you are given all the required, uh, required materials that you need at the beginning of the program. You are told what you're supposed to go through and uh, where you're supposed to, what you're supposed to do and when you're supposed to do. It's not much difference from the regular training. The only difference is we do not uh, attend class as frequent as the regular students. We only have three weeks in class where we are introduced to the courses and then we're given CDs which, will, which has all the courses that we're going to go through. Then we go on our study break, that's where we study the courses and then come back. We we'll do word allocation just as normal as the regular students. The only difference is you get to study on your own. To ensure that the Zambian people are protected by ensuring that the people that we are going to train via e-learning who acquire the skills that we need in NS and the difference should not be noticed when they go for practice, when they qualify. Uh, these nurses that are trained via e-learning should practice in the similar manner as those that are trained using the traditional method. When e-learning started, most of the nurses and uh, the in-charges, in other words, they didn't accept us. They said you cannot uh, study nursing using computers, they, they didn't accept us. So it was a problem, it was you, you are under somebody who doesn't you know, accept you. But as of now, at least we are being accepted by most of uh, the people from the clinical area. What made them to change their mind, they, they saw how we used to work, as in, we're just like these other students. Even the, the, the same skills that they have, it's the same skills that we also possess. Hence, it's just the same as the other ordinary students, except the mode of learning. The e-learning students, the feedback we get from the, the clinical area is that they, ha they need minimum supervision because they are self-directed, so they, they work compared to our regular students who most of the time uh, wait for instructions. The use of technology is very good and easy because you will be given an assignment and then you will just go and research on the internet. It's, 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 it's easy because sometimes the, the books that they request for, they are hard to find. Life skills, that's a topic I really have appreciated because it's something that I've, also, I've learned a lot from life skills. It taught me how to be a self-directed person and then also how to manage time. I was really pathetic at managing time. Now I know I can manage time and then also finances. Yes, so I would encourage life skills to really continue and also to be for regular classes as well because then they'll get to know, you get to know how you can manage yourself, manage your time, manage your money and also um, self-esteem, it will also boost you up I and mean, then you have confidence. The program is unique because it's self-driven. Like uh, you have to be self-oriented when you're doing a learning program and it creates more opportunities in future whereby you can do any course, any form of course do, do, uh, using e-learning program. And it's a program which can sharpen you, your mind and help you become mature whereby, whereby anything else and any challenge that may come in life, you can overcome that challenge. It's a job on training, you have to go on the words and also manage your theory part. So uh, on that part, it was quite stressful, but after I had learned life skills, I had known how to manage my stress. Being the, the first group of e-learning, so everything was just being tested on us. So the internet issues still a problem up to now. 
we are not able to communicate to our tutors, we are not able to send assignments. In the beginning, studying was really difficult because I came into the medical sector where there are big words. Firstly, I don't know how to pronounce them and I can't read them on my own. And then I have a CD that is telling me all the definition of words, but I can't even understand the words. So understanding the to concept of the topics was really difficult. When we started our second year, we received our material very, very late. So it delayed us when starting. So you, you find that uh, most of the courses when we started were behind. We can't even keep up. So uh, that was one big challenge. The youth are um, going through a lot of challenges. Uh, and um, one of them is money for colleges. A lot of them have completed school, but they are just living in the compounds. They have um, nowhere to get the money. Them to school. We the youth are the futures of tomorrow, so it's better government invests in us so that we can have a future and develop the country in years to come. I know that I believe that one day I'll make a difference. Because e-learning, it has shaped me more like and taught me that research is there. So with the help of the computer, the internet, will help me to be updated with the information. Because like, things are changing, the world is becoming it's dynamic now. We are the future leaders because we are still growing up. So if they are to educate us now, we are going to change Zambia in the future. I would like to say a big thank you first to the, the partners in this program because then uh, as at now, it has given me a chance to study without paying anything. I'm a beneficiary of um, the same scholarships. And then I would really encourage them to maybe extend because I hear it's supposed to train about 6,000 nurses up to 2018. So maybe they can go even up to 2020, somewhere there. I'd really love to say thank you maybe to just uh, General Nursing Council, uh, the Ministry of Health, um, Child Fund, Army of Africa for giving us this opportunity to study as nurses. So I'd really love to say a big thank you to the partners and maybe we just continue with what they're doing. It's really a great program.